We have used ships to trade food and other goods around the world for thousands of years. So it's no surprise that about 59% of our food miles today come from water transport. But what does it take to ship our food around the world? And what impacts our imports and exports? Because transport time can take up to three weeks or more, exporters need to time everything properly so their goods arrive in quality retail condition. They lease big containers from shipping companies and fill them with their export commodities. Exporters then coordinate with shipping companies to ensure containers are transported with the right airflow and temperature settings. Most shipping companies also have technologies that control atmosphere and level of gases like oxygen present, which keeps produce asleep during transportation and extends their shelf life. During the voyage, the ship's crew members check and regulate the container's temperature three to four times a day. Billions of cargo are shipped every day worldwide. So any disruption in ocean transportation can have a serious impact on food distribution and the world's economy. As countries lock down from COVID-19, ports have been operating at a lower capacity with less port workers, which means slower customs clearance and even refusal of ship entry, leading to food waste and disrupted food distribution. Ship crew members also had to face restrictions. Normally, crew members are allowed off the ships at port landing to walk around and shop for groceries, etc. But because of COVID-19, many crew members were trapped on board ships, sometimes for over a whole year. It takes thousands of hands, technologies, and reliable transport networks for our food to reach our plates. So the next time you're eating your snack or meal, maybe take a moment to think about the journey your food took to get to you.